What is going on, Loud and Proud Crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fabulous. So we've got the budget build Chevy back here, right behind this door. And I'm gonna show it to you on the ground and everything pretty much done with the truck. And kind of give you a rundown on, you know, the things that we did, the complications that we ran into. Basically the cost of everything, including the truck, the parts and all that stuff. When I say budget build, I'm talking like, Everybody has a different budget and what they consider a budget build. Some people consider a budget build two grand, some consider it five grand, some consider it ten grand. It just kind of depends on what's relevant to you and your situation. But I'm going to go over everything that we spent on the truck, the total costs, and kind of everything like in a nutshell. So we're working on the 12 valve over here as well. You guys are going to have to wait for that video to see just how far we've gotten on this truck over here and what all we've done to it. Well, let me get this door opened up. Let me show you the Chevy. And before we actually go over all that stuff with the Chevy, let's actually install the glove box in the dash bezel so that the glove box light can shut off so that the truck doesn't keep dying. And uh, cause that's something that I didn't even think about, you know, like taping up that button or something that kind of signals the light to be on and off for the glove box. Cause when she took that out, I didn't even think about it cause we only drive it in the daylight and I never noticed that there was a light on underneath there. So when we took it to Devin's, we got on the lift, the truck was dead once we got it off because the glove box light was on for however many days. So anyways guys, let's get this door open. Let's check out this truck. Let's get that stuff installed and then let's go over all the costs. This is gonna be fun. Well, everybody, we did get the interior pieces put back in that Reagan had taken out and painted. She kind of went with a little bit of a blue line theme in here, and that's kind of like what she wanted to do because, well, the truck is blue, the interior is navy blue. It's a little bit of a different shade of blue, but it's kind of like a happy medium between the two. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But if you ask me, it looked really good. It looked really clean. There's no run marks. There's no weird smears, nothing like that. It turned out really good. So if you come here and you check this out, You've got the blue all through here. The dash is all cleaned up again. You've got the color and it flows right down through. You've got the blue line. It looks really good, which I also fixed this by the way, because these um, glove boxes just seem to like come apart. Well, really all it is is this hinge down here. You have to fold it completely down almost to the ground and then snap those in and come and then fold it all the way back up and then uh i mean it's good it's not going to fall out so that's good that's fixed that's all that's all fine and dandy in this truck guys a lot of you may not have noticed in yesterday's video but i did put at the very last couple seconds of the video a little pop-up that said the giveaway for this truck starts tonight well if you didn't see that and you left the video too soon or you just didn't see the little words pop up on the screen the giveaway for this truck is live now this is not one of our big diesel giveaways so i'm not really like promoting this one really huge and you know, all over social media and everything like crazy this is just kind of like Hey, you know, we had some fans that liked the budget build Chevy and we had a couple people request for us to give it away and we were debating, you know, what we were going to do with it next and Reagan and I were like, well, I don't think we have really any other big plans for the truck other than finishing it and then, you know, going into detail on what it costs and all that stuff, which I'll get into in this video. But other than that, it's either going to sit here until next year when lawn season comes around, which I'm not really a fan of letting stuff that's worth something just sit still. I'd rather either sell it or give it away and then just, if I need another vehicle in four or five months, buy another vehicle, you know what I mean? In my application, it makes sense. So for me, I was like, you know, what the heck, we'll put it up for a giveaway, just see what happens. So we're just gonna put this up for a giveaway. It's only available for 12 days. When you see this video, there's only 11 days available left to enter and every $5 is five entries. That's a dollar, every dollar is an entry. So. However many dollars you spend, that's how many entries you get pretty much. So it's pretty cool. We've never really ever done anything like that before. You know, we just figured this is a giveaway that we might not really have many people entering on just cause it's, you know, it's an older Chevy gasser with 178,000 miles on it, but it's still a great running solid four wheel drive truck and everything works and functions the way it should. And it runs amazing. So we're like, what the heck? It'd still be an amazing truck for somebody to win. So we'll give everybody a bunch of entries. And for the people that do want to enter, great. For the people that don't want to enter, which is probably going to be most of the people, that's fine. This isn't one of our big diesel giveaways. Like I said, it's just kind of like a little perk in between. So that for the people that are into the gas stuff, here you go. Here's your shot at owning this truck for literally five bucks. Let's get into the shop here where it's not cold. And then we'll go over 
the truck costs, the parts costs, and kind of go into detail on what all we did. Really quick, let me show you around the final product. The truck still needs alignment just to make sure it's all good up front. We're probably gonna get the brakes done too here. But this is what you're looking at. You can see Rosine sitting here. She's a 2500 heavy duty leveled out. And the cab of this truck actually sits higher, um, which this thing does have a six inch suspension lift kit on it. And that's a zone off-road kit. It's got 16 by 10 Pro Comp wheels. I believe they're the steel series. At least that's what it said. It said a Pro Comp 16 by 10 steel. Whatever that means. I don't know if it's just because it's made of steel or it's just the series is called steel or steels. Um, but whatever. So there's that. We've got the 35 by 1250 Federals. We got the smoked headlights with LED bulbs. We've got the newer style or the mid-generation Chevy tow mirrors, which are much better. They look kind of big for the truck. I mean, not as much anymore now that the truck's, you know, 12 inches taller between tire and suspension height than it was before but they do come in handy and these mirrors are way more stable and they're all shaky like the old mirrors that we had in there. We've got the dual exhaust system coming out the back. These mud flaps are gonna have to go because they do rub because they hang right there in the way. But we do have the dual exhaust system and that's just a cat back exhaust. There's a stance on the truck. Just about perfect for what I wanted. I mean, this thing is big. This is like, check this out. I don't know if there's any justice, but this is shoulder height. Actually, more than shoulder height. Um, that's how tall this thing is. And before, the bed, the top of the bed was about right here. So just look at the difference. I mean, it's just crazy. Again, here's the wheels and tires. And where the exhaust was touching before, I can show you back here. It does not touch at all once it was set on the ground with the lift kit done in the front. It does have a couple little rust spots, but you know, it's a 20 some year old truck. You're gonna have some of that stuff. So anyways, let's go into the build costs and just how much money this thing cost us. Okay, so for this truck, let's kind of go through a breakdown in terms of what the thing actually cost us. We're gonna take down note of everything that we spent, everything that it cost us, and go into the detail. We're gonna start with the most expensive stuff. The lift kit was $1,200, okay? That's going to be your most expensive part of the truck. There's a lot of components for these independent front suspension trucks. There's a lot of components. The install time is pretty high comparatively to like, you know, this, for example, you can do a lift kit, like a six inch lift on this truck in about four hours. A six inch lift on this truck is about eight to 15 hours. Just kind of depends. This was more like a 15 hour job due to needing brake lines and new upper and lower well, upper control arms, and then we did new upper and lower ball joints, which of course, if you haven't done yours yet and the truck's so sold, you should probably just do them while you're in there because it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg for labor if you wait to do it another time. So just kind of expect that. That's gonna be roughly five to 600 bucks. Clean your lower control arms, your ball joints, all that stuff. Labor, I don't know, it just kind of depends. The new upper control arms, and new ball joints, new what else did we do new brake line all that stuff all the the stuff that kind of popped up that we weren't really expecting i would say an extra 500 dollars for that kind of stuff so we're in 1700 dollars so far 1200 for lift kit 500 for unexpected stuff up front the tires they cost me i think one i will shoot i want to say 165 a tire and so if you're looking at 165 a tire doing 165 times four you got 660 dollars for the tires so we're in right now 2360 dollars the wheels were i think 115 dollars a piece so we're gonna do another 115 times four. So now we're at $2,820. The headlights were pretty cheap. They're about 55, bu 55 bucks. Tail lights were I think like $85. The mirrors were I think about 75 bucks. The LEDs were 50 bucks. So, so far we're at about three grand and the exhaust system was 300. For all of our parts and all that stuff, we're in $3,385 for the entire parts list. And then for the truck itself, this truck was $4,000 when I bought it. So the total bill all said and done 
was $7,385. Now, I didn't calculate in what you know Devin charged me for labor because that kind of just really depends on like, are you gonna do it yourself? Or are you gonna have a buddy do it that's gonna cut you a deal? Are you gonna take it to a shop where they're gonna charge you $1,500? I mean, like, what's it gonna be? Devin charged me, just so you guys know, 800 bucks and then I gave him a tip on top of that of 200 bucks you know when it was all said and done because of all the problems that he had to go through with this thing you know like I said that just really really depends on who's gonna do it how much they're gonna charge you all that stuff and for example the exhaust system you could have done that cheaper you don't have to do that you know upgrading to LED bulbs for 55 bucks you don't have to do that to do the tow mirrors you don't have to do like there's a lot of optional stuff but roughly, if you want to know how much everything this cost me is roughly 7,500 bucks is what you should expect between the truck, components, and all that stuff, which also, you can get one of these trucks for two grand, or you can get one for six grand. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Two wheel drive, four wheel drive, lots of rust, no rust, um, high miles, low miles. It just kind of depends on what satisfies you, what you're looking for, what your budget is, what you're wanting to do. But for the most part, that's how much this truck cost us to build. It was a really fun project and it looks really, really stinking good. Check this out. This is a little bit more rusted side on the fender there, but this thing turned out really good. This thing is just big, dude. Like it's just so beefy. And I just want to say something to the guys out there that do drive something like this that's not, you know, a $60,000 truck and it's all fancy and has all the gadgets and gizmos and all that crap. Let me tell you from my perspective, since I've owned you know, the $85,000 truck, I've owned the $60,000 truck, I've owned, you know, the other $65,000 truck, and I've owned this truck, and I've owned a cheaper truck. Let me just tell you this, once you've owned those nice trucks, I know like when I didn't have nice trucks before, and I was like, you know what, this is what I can afford, this is what I can drive, like, I was happy with it, I was excited about it, but I was always sitting there driving down the road going when I'd see a nice truck go by, like, man, I wonder what it's like to drive a truck like that. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder what it's like to own that thing. I want, you know, like, I want to own a nice truck someday. Until you've owned one, you don't realize that it's really not that cool anymore. And what I mean by that, don't take that the wrong way. I'm not saying, like, oh, it's not cool to have nice trucks and I'm not grateful and all this stuff. I'm totally grateful and I totally love them and they're awesome. And there's a lot of features about them that it's just like, I love it. But, like, I was driving this truck with Reagan and we were headed to the property to do some deer hunting and I'm like, you know what? I'm driving this truck and I'm like, I am just as happy driving this truck as any of any other truck I could ever buy to drive right now. She looked at me, she's kind of like, well, why is that? I'm like, once you've owned a nice truck, you realize that the truck doesn't change who you are or like what you're capable of or like your being or anything else. Like it, there's no real significance to it. It's just a truck. But once you get past that and you kind of lose the pride of like, I'm too good to sit in a cheaper truck. Once you get past that, it's like, I honestly would rather drive this truck. Like I'd rather drive this Chevy than I would the power stroke half the time. There was like a four or five week span where all I did was drive the Chevy everywhere we went because I'm like, this is just, I don't know. I just don't care. Like I just don't care to drive the nice stuff. Like it's not like I have to have it. Like it's cool to have it. I like making the videos with it and I like giving that kind of stuff away to you guys. But like once you own one and you've driven it and then you go back to something like this, you're just kind of like, I really don't need all that stuff that truck has. It's just kind of one of those things. I don't know if that makes any sense. Maybe it doesn't make any sense. But I just feel like once you've owned both and you've gone from the bottom to the way top and then you just go back to driving something like that, at least for me, I really don't need it. I really don't care. I guess all I'm saying is for the guys that drive the older trucks and they're trying to make it their own, but they don't have a huge budget, just know this, a lot of the people that are driving those trucks, I'm just kind of speaking because I know a lot of the inside, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do too, they're financing their wheels and tires, and they're financing their truck, they're financing everything, and they really, really wouldn't even have the cash to pay for it if they had to. Like if the bank came to the door, they say, hey, we needed this you know, $70,000 truck paid in full, most of the guys driving those, wouldn't even have the money to pay for it. Don't drive your truck down the road and be like, oh man, I wish I could have a truck like him. Yeah, You don't always want their situation. A lot of these guys images everything and that's all they care about and they will literally make those $1,200 payments every month and just live off of the rest of their income and literally pay more on their truck than they would on a house just because they want the image of when they're going down the road, they want people to envy what they have. And you don't want to be that person and I'd never want to be that person. Me to you, just don't ever think that just because somebody else has something nice, that what you have is not significant. Because just saying, you owning your vehicle outright and being a lot cheaper is much better 
than having something that's super luxurious that could be taken from you at any moment because it's really not yours. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully, guys, enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think about the budget bill. Do not forget to enter to win that thing because that giveaway ends in 11 days. It's a very short giveaway. I'm not sure how many people are going to really enter in for it. But you might as well take your shot because you could just get a free truck. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.